I show you 11 things I have in my bowl. In the first day I use this bowl, I have all these items already. This is very important. If you want to enjoy your day in the summer, you need this all the time with you. So let me explain step by step. Bueno, señores, Miguel te busco en la casa. Hoy vengo a enseñarle lo que yo hago cuando yo voy al samba. Son 11 cositas que usted necesita para que no tenga ningún tipo de problema y el día a usted se le haga más fácil. Aquí tengo unos artículos que yo saqué de mi bote y yo desde el primer día que yo compré ese bote, desde el primer día yo los tengo conmigo. Les voy a enseñar todo lo que yo tengo, que es lo que usted necesita para que se le haga más fácil. Primero que nada, y una de las cosas más importantes es esto. Este es mi zafacón. First, and one of the most important, this is my trash can. You need a trash can in your bowl all the time. If you go yourself, if you go with somebody else, if you go with three or four people in your bowl, you need a trash can. If you don't have a trash can, you throw your papers, you throw your plates, you can of soda on the side, and you have a mess in your bowl. Take something in your bowl. What happens is when you finish your day, and you go to the marina again, all this trash you have in your boat fly out from your boat. And this is not good. That's why you see a lot of paper, the empty bottle of water. I see a lot of stuff in the water. People don't take care of the environment. Take one of these, take something for throw you garbage in one place only, not in all your boat. Second, you need a rope, you need a couple, you need two or three extras, extras. This is the rope I have in my storage. This is a dog line. You need this dog line in every side of your boat. No, only one in one side, in uh, the other side you don't have nothing. No, that is not right. Everything you have in one side, you need to do in the other side. This rope is extra rope. Okay, for this dog line, one in each side. Shoes. You need a shoes when you go to the samba. You don't know when you put your foot. You don't know what is in the water. If you see that video, what happened to me last week because I don't put my shoes just for five minutes. I put my shoes in every time I go to the samba, all the time. In this Exactly moment, I don't put my shoes and look what happened in my foot. Look at this, because I don't put my shoes. In every people have in your boat need a shoes for the samba. A horn, I never use this horn, but this is mandatory because if the police patrol stop you, he asking you for one of those. And if you don't have one of those, he give it to you a ticket. So this is very important when you go to the summer this is when you see a lot of police outside so you need this because this is the rule you need to take one of those in your boat mandatory okay this is a fire extinguisher please god i don't want to never use this you need to take one of those in your boat because this is a regulation for your boat same thing with the horn is one police stop you he ask you for that if you don't have one buy one the flares maybe you never use the same thing with the other equipment but police asking you for this remember me and I told you police asking you for this if you don't have one buy one this is cheap one ticket is more expensive First aid kit, you better have one in your boat. You need to take one of those. You never know when you have some emergency or part of your family have one emergency, please take one of those. When I cut my foot last week, I have one of those in my boat. I don't use it real fast because I'm wet, so I am put a piece of towel first for stop my bleeding. After that, when, I, when the bleeding stop real good, I'm, I use my bandit, I use my anti-inflammatory 
from there. This is up to you. The police not asking you for that. This is up to you. If you want to buy one, just in case, buy one. The bumper. Bumper is very important for protect your boat and for protect other boat. In the sandbar, the current is moving all day long. So you need a bumper for protect your side, just in case the current moving and the other boat moving too. So you protect you and protect the other boat. I have four of those, two for one side and two for the other side. I cannot have just one for each side because the boat is too big. Very important, don't go out without this. Life jackets, life jacket. <laughs> Listen guys, and that's no joke. Don't go out with your family without life jacket. You have a lot of bunch of different one life jackets. This is very important. You need to have one for each person in your boat. If you have 10 people, if you going out with eight life jackets, that's not enough because you never know when one police stop you. The first thing asking you is for life jacket jackets this is two different ones this is for people and this is for emergency what is the difference this one you put it right there this one is like that this one you can stay with this life jacket all the time but these life jackets if in case you need to throw this for somebody else and this is very important. If you don't have this, and you have this, you receive a ticket because you don't have this kind of life jacket. You have a lot of cycling one, very important, and this is for the regulation. Look, I have four more here, four. I have four, I have five. And you go to my storage, I have six more. I have like 12 life jackets in my boat. This is optional, this knife is very important because you never know when somebody need emergency or a rope stops in some place for your boat. I carry all this all the time with me. One day maybe you need it. So take a knife with you, put it here or put it in the storage, but take one, take one knife with you all the time. The anchor, the secondary anchor. You need to take two anchors in your boat. The front one and the back one. You have a lot of options for your anchor. You have this style, you have this style, you have chrome, you don't have no chrome. Personal, I like this style like that. When you throw this, automatically it's stuck in the sand. This is a style steel, this is chrome. The other galvanized anchor, when you put in your storage, the more corrosion pain you bow, and this is no good. It put you you bow dirty. Chrome is 100% better. This is most expensive. The secondary anchor for the back. You don't need 12 pound, 10 pound, five pound is good. This one is 12 pound. It's heavy, but I like it. I like when I throw something, stop real fast and don't make me hairy. So this is my back anchor. I have three foot of chain for the back. Stylus steel, stylus steel, everything is stylus steel. For the front, this is your principal anchor and this is the most important. When you throw this anchor, no matter what it with your hand or you have a windlass, you need to put your anchor in one position, the anchor is stopped by cell. Let me explain you what you need to do for doing a good anchor in your boat. Let me explain you something. I have 15 foot, foot of chain in the front of my principal anchor. When you throw your anchor, and this is professional anchor position, this is the most important, you from anchor. When you throw your anchor, you need to put all your chain, 
on the floor on the floor this is the right thing you throw you anchor let me explain you what a lot of people do watch you cannot do this okay para. look what a lot of people do throw the front anchor and the 15 foot is not everything on the floor so you have 10 foot on the floor and the other five in the air that's wrong guys don't do this don't do this put 10 foot if you have a chain with 10 foot the 10 foot is completely if you have a 10 foot chain put the 10 foot on the sand after that take the rope off you never moving back again never moving back again listen guys i hope you enjoy the video I try to help you guys a little bit in some ideas what I do for my basic day in the summer. Pass the video for other people, receive the orientation before go to the samba. Mi nombre es Miguel Tebusco, espero que hayas disfrutado de todo el video. Esto es un leve tips de lo que yo hago que tú pudieras también hacerlo para que disfrutes tu día en el samba. Todo esto Everything of this is very necessary. If you don't have this, buy, buy. A spend a couple bucks, put it in your book. Maybe one day you need one of these things. Thank you so much. Mi nombre es Miguel Tebusco. Llámame. ¿Qué te busco? Fire extinguisher. Same thing with the fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Fire. 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 Extinguish. Extinguish. Er. Extinguisher. Yeah. Extinguish. <laughs> Lo dijiste bien. Ven. Ven. No, dilo, dilo. Fire extinguisher. <laughs>